Okay, you've been watching me on television for many, many years, right? What did I name the show? What's the cause? If fungus and the poisons they spew are the cause of your health problems, fungi are the cause, then you need to know this. You gotta eat well. You gotta clean your home of all these mold spores, right? And then finally, you have to exercise. I talk about sweating all the time. So on today's show, Chris Chase is going to teach you how to remediate this house as he answers a question from one of you on Facebook and then he delves into his technology. Kyle is gonna make a green smoothie that'll just blow you away. And then finally, Daniel's gonna teach us how to do an exercise that's really tough if you're aging. All that and more on Know the Cards. My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. Okay, welcome back. Thank you for joining us now. Chris Chase joins us from Pioneer. Every week or so, I like to put Chris on the air because of this technology and because of who he is. We've known each other way, way I was dark haired when I met Chris. <laughs> um, now I look like my sweater, you know. This, this technology is called photocatalysis. He will explain that in the next 10 minutes. I know we have brand new viewers out in Florida. Welcome aboard, thank you for joining us. Folks, we spend a lot on bottled water, organic food, organic, you know, clothing even. I've seen people buy organic clothing. But nothing, very little on cleaning the air in our home. And so many of you are watching this right now saying, well, it's not a big deal. Here's an English study. On average, there are 10 varieties of mold inside the average home in England. And they name the molds, probably not of interest to you. But mold off gas is a poison once it gets inside your body, and these poisons are linked now. One of them, called aflatoxin, is linked to cancer, human cancer. So we wanna be careful. Chris, thank you for coming in. Where did your interest in the Pioneer begin? <laughs> Boy, that's how <laughs> You had really dark hair then. <laughs> yeah, it's going down memory lane. But actually, uh, a friend of a friend of mine, or a customer of a friend of mine, brought the technology uh, to us and, and uh, um, they wanted us to invest in the company because by the time they did the R&D and built the molds and all of this other, they were out of money. <laughs> and so part of my due diligence was to see if the product did what they claimed because I didn't, right. I wasn't in this business, didn't know anything about it. So I found, um, a fella out in Walnut Creek, California, by the name of uh, Dr. D. Graham. Mm -hmm. He was a specialist for the Del Monte Food Corporation, and he tested foods to make sure they weren't contaminated or caused mm -hmm. people to get sick, that sort of thing. Well, he left that company and started his own research lab. What I wanted to know, I said, D., I said, you know, I hear, I'm looking at these air treatment devices and they say in a laboratory we get 99.9% .9 of all of the pollutants or whatever. What I want to know is, is where we live, not in a lab, but where we live, what this product will do. So he said, well, here's, here's how we test it. We'll get three homes that are baseline, Okay, for good. the technology, mm -hmm. and then we'll get three more homes because you got three different size areas, and we'll ch we'll test each lamp module so size in each of three different homes. He set it up so every six hours he had this air machine, and he would go in the area that was being treated, and he would test it. And what we found was is in, in every case over ninety percent reduction in airborne mold. And we had, in, uh, in one case, uh, up to 96%, a little over 96% reduction in airborne mold. If you call the office, I've got a brochure about it. You can read the technology and that sort of thing. But this product works. And if you've got, if you're concerned about the mold that's in your home and you're inhaling it and what it'll do right away or down the road to your health, call and get the 
technology or better still, take us up on our 30-day free trial and buy yeah. the product and see if it does everything that we say it does. Chris, that was before I met you. And here's a doctor, a prominent doctor who worked in the food industry, and here are you asking the M question, mold. I mean, I, I wonder if the average viewer really understands that as clean as our houses are, there's a mold problem in there. Did you know mold back then? Not really. I mean, you've done a, as dumb as I am, you've done a good job of educating me. <laughs> this is a unit, folks. Here's the interesting thing. Do you remember in the 70s and 80s, we had those huge air purifiers sitting in our living room. They made noise. They were a fan, and it would suck the cigarette smoke from your guests, you know, directly into the unit. Whole new world out there today. Tiny. Put it in your suitcase when you travel. Uh, fire it up, you know, in every hotel room you stay in. This is a different, see that pretty blue light? There's a reason there's that light source in there. There's a reason it's so quiet. And when we come back, by the way, I have a question for you, uh, somebody asked. And when we come back, I want to talk to Chris a little bit about why this technology has been around for 20 years and keeps getting better and better and better. So don't go away. And welcome back, friends. Now, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, says this, and they said it a few years ago. Air pollution isn't just outside. The air inside buildings can also be polluted and affect your health. Well, we've kind of known that for a long, long time. Chris, I was talking, uh, you know, before I knew you, you were out testing, doing your due diligence on this investment. Um, the technology was unique 20, 25 years ago. Is it still today? Yes, uh, it, it's state-of-the-art technology. It combines what other air treatment systems, it may take you two or three units to get all of the technology or get all of the air treatment coverage that you get with this one product. Uh, it, it takes care of microbial. Fungus, mm -hmm. bacteria. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, particulate. Mm -hmm. pet dander, smoke, uh, allergies, pollen, that sort of thing, and then chemicals or odors. Uh, it deals with all three ma major categories. Any other product, you'll have to get at least two to do that, if not three. See, and it's inexpensive, and Chris will fund it for six months for you. It, uh, Chris, I want to read a question that came up, but um, it, it strikes me as amazing Folks, photocatalytic technology has been around a while, and probably 20 years from now, it'll be at its peak. Uh, Chris introduced it very early. We love it. We have a couple of these at home. Alicia writes, I've been exposed to mold. I had bloody noses and eventually asthmatic uh, bronchitis. Wow. From an off-campus apartment by the college prior to acupuncture school. Good for her. She knows this. It was the worst experience. I couldn't go back into that room again because I just couldn't breathe. You don't know. This happened to my producer's daughter away at college. There are thousands of people this is happening to. They're going to respiratory doctors or family doctors. Well, I think it just might be psychosomatic. It's not. If that college room, that dorm, that bungalow that you're living in has ever leaked, bathtub overfilled, you could have this problem, and this is the good technology. Doug, I think I may have told you this before, but <clears throat> last night when I came into town, I went out for, for dinner, and I ran into this doctor. And one of the things that he said to me that I thought was just, just kind of wowed me, he said, you know, we doctors really need to be educated with respiratory is issues and how they affect people's long-term health. And Alicia, I hope you're doing better now. But, you know, some people, when they get asthmatic bronchitis, they can't get rid of it. And I, mm -hmm. I hope you're not, mm -hmm. not one of them. Um, this technology, if you're, or when you're exposed to mold, will absolutely improve the air quality in the, in, the, in the house or the structure that you're in. One of, one of the worries I have with Alicia and many kids, fortunately they're kids, so their immune system is good. This little unit would be a must for her, but folks, uh, this mold adheres to mucous membrane tissues. 
So when you walk into a really moldy home and inhale, boop, it can hang on. Now we have white blood cells that'll gobble it up normally, phagocytize the mold, and that's a good thing. But as we age, it becomes a little more difficult. So if you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, these ads on TV, Grandpa, it huffs and puffs just like you do. Well, I have COPD, and the doctor said there's nothing I can do, but oh, that just frustrates me. You can either medicate it or know the cause. Yeah, put, I wonder if all those people with COPD put a unit like this in their house, if they'd really need all the medications. And so you can see the conundrum that exists for your company. I had a, uh, who has since become a friend, but a, a, a guy that I met whose mother was using inhalers. She used like four inhalers a day. Wow. He got her, uh, an air, two, actually two air treatment systems for her house. She lives in Maryland. And she got down to where she was using less than one inhaler a day. That's... Yeah, Chris, any doctor that knows photocatalytic technology and knows respiratory medicine knows that you need one of these units uh, in your home and you can breathe better. Uh, folks, I'm going to leave you today. Chris, thank you so much. I'm going to leave you today with a little tip directly from Pioneer.net. The living room. That beautiful fireplace not only warms you and your family, but expels ash particulate into the breathing space. And where does it have to go with those beautiful windows sealed so tight? Gosh, I've known Chris so long. Thank you, Chris, for that segment. Now, Kyle sent me an email the other day that was 14 pages, right? He elaborates on everything and he does a darn good job of it. Wait till you see his green smoothie. Let's go over there and check it out right now. So a lot of you love those green smoothies, or you've seen people with the kale shakes and you want to try them yourself. Did you know that a lot of these are not really Kaufman diet approved? I know it seems like they should be because they're green and they're full of those great chlorophyll rich leafy greens, but you know, a lot of times they're sweetened with things like pineapples or peaches or things that are not Kaufman diet approved. And so what I like to do is turn a great idea into a superior Kaufman idea with a few simple tweaks. So this is the basics of how to do a green smoothie. I'm more of a smoothie guy rather than a juice guy, but you can adapt however you like. What I like to do is start with simple, uh, simple, simple basics. I'm talking good greens, and it could be a multitude of greens. I'm just choosing spinach this time just so that you can see it. I get a good, high-quality, grass-fed, hormone-free, antibiotic-free uh, whey protein powder. I'm doing vanilla this time. Some greens powder, because I like to go next level on everything. We'll talk about it in a minute. Some fiber fiber of your choice, and then some kind of fat. And I'm just gonna go straight coconut oil. You can go flax seeds, you can go chia, whatever fat you like. And then I've got a secret ingredient that I didn't tell any of the guys about, so they don't even know what this is, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. First, we start with some liquid though. I'm gonna just go water to show you how basic it can be, but guess what? Almond milk, coconut milk, tea, ooh. A green tea that you cool down and bring it in cold, that's a nice touch, but let's go basic and just go with a nice clean water. I'm going to go about a cup and a half. Honestly, that's really all you need. About a cup and a half. Now you might need it to be a little thinner, a little thicker, whatever you like. Just go for it from there. And then I'm going to go with about, yay, my, you thought that I was just going to reach in there and say there, that's enough, right? That's what you thought. Oh, I'm going to go the whole thing. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I'm going to go the whole thing. Now you're saying, how much is that? Uh, about that much. I don't know. It's just one of those things that you choose what you like. You choose the kale, the Swiss chard, the spinach, but we're just going basic spinach this time. Now, here's something that a lot of people don't know to do. I like to blend a little first just to get the action going, just to make sure that we're getting it all blended up. Simple. 
Simple, simple, simple. So we do that just to make things mix easier. Okay, so I go a scoop of whey protein powder. I'm going with, uh, with a grass-fed, hormone-free, antibiotic-free vanilla powder because I like that vanilla in this shake. Super simple like that. Now, here's something to go next level. A lot of you buy these uh, greens powders that have the wheatgrass, barley grass, spinach, broccoli, plus fruits, plus vegetables, plus superfoods. Is that still a word? Do people say superfoods, herbs, and all of that? Great idea. Sometimes you drink it by yourself, but why don't you put it in a shake like this to take it next level? which is what I like to do with everything, go next level. But here's the sweet, sweet secret. This is berry flavor. You can find these all over the internet, a multi-greens, multi-nutrient powder that's berry flavor, and that now changes the flavor of this smoothie from this bitter green thing to this berry thing. I like that little fiber to go with it because you want to keep the blood sugar even. You don't want to get jacked up on some kind of juice and then have an insulin crash. You want to keep it even and that's why I put in, this is, I'm just going huge. I'm going two tablespoons of acacia fiber for this, but you can put psyllium husk, anything that you like. And then finally, I like a good fat with it also to keep blood sugar even, to keep the hunger down because this could be a meal if you do it right. And that's why I like to go with a little bit, uh oh, don't look because I'm going to use my finger. There we go. So I put about a tablespoon in a, uh, or so of uh, coconut, fi uh, coconut oil, but you can go chia seed, you can go flax seed, you can go a little olive oil, doesn't matter what you choose. Now here's the basic. Now I'm going to blend that up, but here's what you need to know. Can you put berries in this? Because that's a Kaufman approved fruit. You can put blueberries, blackberries, cranberries, strawberries, add that to it and you've got something special. But I didn't tell you about the secret thing. You want to go green? You want to go heavy green smoothie? Then you're going to do this, liquid chlorophyll. I'm not showing you the brand because the lawyers get upset when I do, but we put in a couple of squirts of chlorophyll. Why chlorophyll, Kyle? Because if you're on the Kaufman diet, you want to go antifungal, but also anti-mycotoxin. Mycotoxins, the poisons that are found in fungus, it turns out that studies have shown that chlorophyll, the green stuff in green plants, the chlorophyll is anti-mycotoxin absorbs those mycotoxins right up and makes sure that it clears it out of the body. You'll love this. I'm going to blend this for a little bit. Be right back. All right. Blended that up for a little bit. You can add ice to it. I just didn't want to take the time to do it. it smells like berries. I like the richness of it. Now this is going to scare your friends, right? That's what you want. You want those deep, rich drinks that'll scare everybody. It looks scary, but it's not. Man, that is rich green. I don't know if you can see that, Joe, but that look how dark that is. Now, what happens when you put blackberries and blueberries? It gets even darker, gets even richer. Okay, you think this is going to taste bitter, don't you? You kind of, kind of do. This tastes like berries and it's Kaufman Diet approved, your body's gonna love it, and your mouth will too. See ya. As Berkeley, my grandson says, exercise is healthy for you. Well, watch this as Daniel teaches us about two different kinds of planks. So welcome back. You're feeling stronger. I can, you look great, by the way. I can already tell the difference. Today we're gonna do a high plank to a low plank. I'm gonna do two different versions for a beginner, but then I also wanna give you something to shoot for, something, uh, a goal, some, some place you're gonna end up. So I wanna be on my knees in sort of a, a push-up position. Uh, they used to just call it the girl push-up, but I know some pretty tough chicks that, uh, that can do some amazing push-ups one-handed, so let's totally eliminate that cognate from our mind. Start in a push-up position here. Again, shoulders low, posture's important. 
shoulder blades together, buns are tight. I am a strong plank right now. Now I'm going to replace my right hand with my right elbow, my left hand with my left elbow, and then I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna just gonna get a nice rhythm, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up. Your stomach, your core is what's stabilizing here, okay? So again, it's super simple. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You'll feel the difference. What are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to this, okay? Down, down, up, up. It's almost like a one-handed push-up, so congratulations, bravo, if you're doing this correctly. I feel a huge circle of energy running through my core, running through my legs, running through my chest. I, I feel like I know my body more. I feel like I'm more aware of, of, of physical movement after just, what, 10, 12, 15 seconds worth of movement. This is important. These are the exercises, this whole series that's gonna keep you feeling young, feeling great, playing with grandkids, spending your money on fun stuff like exercise and vacation rather than medicine or, or surgery. So invest in yourself here. I cannot encourage you or, or emphasize enough how important it is to take care of yourself. You have one body. If you don't take care of it, somebody else is and they're not gonna treat it as well as you do, I promise. Looking forward to seeing you again next time. Keep it up, remember it's posture, and then just allocating a few minutes each morning to doing a few simple exercises. Looking forward to seeing you again next time. We're doing great things here. Check us out on Know The Cause. Well, thank you for spending some time with us today. Do come back tomorrow. And by the way, when you see recipes, Kyle's drink and so forth, go to our website, Know The Cause, and check it out on there, and then move over and play around on our Facebook. Now, Here's the telephone number for Chris Chase. This is the unit that we're all talking about, photocatalytic um, device that cleans the air in your home. You just pop out this light device every year and put a new one in, it's quiet, no fans, anything like that. Folks, when you honor our advertisers, you honor us because they're the ones that pay to keep me on the air. Thank you so much, Daniel, for teaching us about planks. Thank you so much, Kyle, for that great drink. Thank your eyes on this show today. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.